Part 34, getting paid $500 for an audiobook and becoming a narrator on Amazon. Let's go. And before I begin showing you today what I'm going to do with the audiobook, this is just one income stream that I have in my business. I've diversified four different income streams, done a series on all of them. So make sure you go back and watch those and like and follow if you want to join me on my journey for the audiobook. Yesterday, I sent audio samples to the author. She absolutely loved them, just so that she could see what my voice sounded like before I got too deep into the project. Highly suggest that. So today, I wanted to show you what I did, and I also want to show you how you can check your audio files with ACX so that you know that they're going to be up to standard and the author won't have any problems uploading them for their audiobook. Because the last thing you want to do is upload audio files that the author then has to go back and adjust the sound for. It's just a hassle. Let's check out some of the audio. Ranging from becoming a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader to being a stay-at-home mom with a white picket fence and living happily ever after. However, God had a different plan in store for me. Okay, so now I'm on the ACX platform and they have what is called an audio lab over here. And I manipulated the files so that you guys could see what it was like when there are issues. So I'm just gonna upload the file that I just had in my Adobe Audition and we're gonna see if they meet the standard for ACX. Okay, so this one is saying that the RMS is too low and I need to bring it up to 2.1 dB. And what that means is the sound on my audio file is just a little bit too soft. So I'm going to bring it up in my Adobe Audition. And I do that with this here. So they said 2.1. So I'm going to go on the other side here to 2.1 right there. And we're going to resave it. I adjusted the sound. And now, as you can see, it says no issues found. So what I'm going to do now is go in my studio and record this. And here's my studio that I made out of PVC pipe that I'm going to record in. And I'm going to end up saving the files separately, like chapters and the diary entries are going to be saved separately so that when the author goes to upload them, it'll be really easy for them to do that. And this is where the fun begins because you get to go record and use your voice and get paid for it and then make money on the back end. I'm going to continue to update you on the progress of this audiobook, and I have a couple of things I want to say about the author, so make sure you stick around. And if you want to get paid to use your voice, click that link in my bio, join my private community. I have a course that teaches you all of this, or drop a hashtag me in the comments. And thank God the lawnmower stopped. I'll break down in another video, what do you do if you have background noise in your recording studio space?